Hi, in this video, let's see how we can access user's location by using the mobile device's GPS in our systems. Now, for this case, we are going to use one of the plugins available in Forge. For those of you who are not aware about Forge, it's a library where a lot of plugins and components exist for you to use in your applications. Location plugin is one of them. I'm going to use it in this case. Uh, it's something that gives me access to the device capabilities uh, for getting the location and it's very convenient to use. So let's see how we can use it. Here we are looking at my service studio uh, where I have a mobile application. I have not done much else. So what we'll do first of all is download and install the location plugin. In my case, I've already done that, but in case you have not done it, you can access the Forge directly from your Service Studio as well. Once you have done so, you can add a reference to location plugin by clicking on Manage Dependency, the plug icon here. So just look for it, location plugin. Once we select it, we are able to see all those things that it offers. For example, the client actions, which I'm going to use now. It has something for uh, checking the location plugin availability, maybe somebody wants to make sure right if the plugin is available like for those old phones maybe they don't have gps capabilities and uh, what i'm going to use also is the get location this is the one that gives me access to the location okay so let's go ahead and do that it's as simple as selecting them and applying uh, what it does in the back end it creates the references and uh, these will be available under the client action here okay so location plugin and it has those two functions now basically what i will get in response is the location and location the structure is somewhat like this uh, what i'm after is these two fields latitude and longitude both are of decimal types so what i'm going to do is uh, we'll build a screen where we are going to trigger calling of the get location plugin and we'll display these latitude and longitude that we get from this plugin so we'll switch to interface tab i can perhaps create a new screen i'm okay with the default let it be we just give it a name home and uh, with a button okay so which triggers the get location plugin so you can rename, rename the button to call find me and under this button right uh, we want to display the two decimal variables so one is let's say latitude and the other one is longitude okay now both of them will be of type decimal as i showed you the output from the plugin is of decimal type so let's make that and then thereafter we can uh, on the screen display these two things okay next to each other uh, what is left for us to do is provide the logic for find me button and that is the hook to trigger the location detection so the way i'm going to use it first we'll check if the plugin is available as a best practice like a such exception handling kind of scenario and once it's available, we can check the availability uh, by using a if block. And depending on the response uh, of the if, right, we can decide on true and false branch. So let's say I swap these connectors by right clicking. So this becomes false. That means the plugin is not available. We can display an error message saying plugin is not available. And end the flow there and if it is available right that's where you're going to use the get location this will give us the latitude and longitude which we are going to assign it to our screen variables latitude and longitude we're going to do it by using the assignment operator here on the left hand side we'll have the latitude screen variable and it can be assigned the value of the uh, latitude coming in from the get location plugin right same thing we'll do for longitude as well and done Let's go back and see if everything looks nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and publish it. Now, once you get the latitude and longitude, there could be further things that you can do, like uh, passing it to a map and showing the location on a map. That would be very useful. Uh, my application is ready now, so let's me go ahead and launch it. There you go. So uh, right now, the latitude and longitude by default, they are zero, right? There's no value to it. The moment I click on find me, I'm able to get my location. And that's it. Thanks for watching.